yesterday, you are going to complete an assignment in filling out this Venn diagram about the similarities and differences between solids, liquids, and gases. So the next slide, we are going to be giving you a just example of what your assignment should have looked like. It could be a little different. You might have more facts than I do. So this is just a quick review of what we learned from yesterday. So as you can see that the Venn diagram has been filled out and let's go over it together. Remember, yours may not look exactly like mine and that is okay because everyone's assignment, as long as you have something similar to this, then you are good to go. Now let's review. Solids, right here is a fact that is only for solids, which is a definite shape. Down here for gases, for only gases, was gases have no volume, and uh, an example of a gas is steam. And going over here, the facts that are only about liquids, liquids uh, don't have a definite shape, and an example of it is water. Now, let's go and talk about what's similar between gases and liquids, and that's right here. The fact is that they both take the shape of their container. Very good. Now, solids and gases, what do they share? The information is right here, and they are both mass. That's really important. From solids to liquids, what they share, they both have volume. And then what solids, liquids, and gases have similar, they are all part of states of matter, and they all take up space. So boys and girls, look at the Venn diagram and review. Remember, you might have more information than I do, or you might have different examples, and that is okay. So please be reassured that the work that you completed yesterday was well done. Good job. Now we are going to transition into what you are going to be doing today in today's science lesson. Your learning objective for today, I can identify examples of solids, liquids, and gases. Today, you guys are going to be having a really fun interaction activity because in Schoology, you are going to be completing a scavenger hunt. Woo! All right. So you will know what you will be doing in the Schoology webpage. So remember to go back into Schoology and to read the directions of what you're going to need to do for your science scavenger hunt. Happy hunting. Farewell for now.